Hello, Amantas here, and as part of Ludo Naracon 2022 that is taking place this weekend, I'll be playing a few games plus demos that are featured for this event. Ludo Naracon is an annual digital festival that celebrates current and upcoming narrative rich games made by developers around the world, and it is hosted by indie label Fellow Traveler on Scene. I'll put links and details of the event in the description box below for you to check out. Do take a look at the list of games participating in this year's event, with demos and sales of over 100 games are featured. And the hashtag to look for on Twitter is LudoNaracon. Now, as we do not have time to play everything that's available, I have picked out a few games for us to check out and sample. Let's get started! Disco Elysium by ZAUM If you enjoy role-playing games, you'll certainly love Disco Elysium. As an unnamed character set in a fantastic realist world of Elysium, you wake up with a terrible hangover with no recollection of who you are, what you did, and how you ended up in that trashed up motel room in the first place. My favourite feature about this game is the different kinds of skill checks available that depend on the stats you choose at the start of the game. From numerous dialogue options available with the NPCs and the optional actions you can take, such as being able to check secret rooms and maybe borrowing some items. Let's look at the highlights. Okay, it looks like I'm waking up. And it looks like a trashed up motel room. Oh, and well, at least I have some underpants on. A permit. A okay, young, I have an man option to steal. Back. Your <gasps> fingers find their way into the shackle, flicking open its spring loaded gate. The man emits a loud snore. Don't be scared. Let's try looking in the mirror. It's only your behold. What? This is what I look like? You have no idea who this thing is, do you? Nope. Coffee Talk Episode 2 by Toge Productions If you've enjoyed the original Coffee Talk game, Toge Productions is back with a new installment of Coffee Talk. If you haven't played this game before, it is where you get to play as a barista and listen to your customers' problems while you also have the opportunity to serve them some drinks. Overall, it's a very therapeutic game as you listen to lo-fi chill music that's set in the alternative world of Seattle with fantasy-inspired characters. The planned release date will be sometime in 2023, so until then, do have a go at the demo and take a shot at being a barista. Let's check out my gaming highlights. We know this is Georgie, and we are in Tomoda Chill, and this is our stories page, just like Twitter. Does it go with milk? I can't put milk in Georgie's tea, right? And here we go, let's try to make ourselves a heart latte. And I'm failing. A Space for the Unbound by Mojiken. Also published by Toge Productions of Coffee Talk, A Space for the Unbound is a slice of life adventure game set in rural Indonesia in the 90s. While this is not your typical adventure game with washbuckling tales, this game is a coming of age story with themes of overcoming anxiety and depression while there are supernatural events happening with the need to investigate. So far, the planned release date is set to 2022, later this year, and for now, you can play the prologue demo that is available for you to sample. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the demo. I shall pet every single cat in this game. And it's nice and fluffy. Can I grab this ladder? Oh, looks like I can't. Uncle is really not happy with me touching his ladder. Okay, I found myself a stick, and let's try to use it. Nice! If you're enjoying this video so far, hit the like button and let me know which game demos you've been enjoying and playing in the comment section. 
Also, be sure to follow me on social media for news updates and other content. And now, back to the video. Framed Collection by Love Shack Entertainment In this game, you play as a mysterious stranger who needs to escape from law enforcement with his briefcase. It's a wonderful game with comic book mechanics where you switch the panels around to change the outcome of the story. Very easy to play with finger snapping original music and a stylish art style, you find yourself falling in love with the game again. Let's check out some of my highlights. So let's start by swapping these two panels and he is going to have a cigarette first before grabbing his bag and run off. As you can see here, this is what happens when we don't change the panels, so we are going to do some swapping. And our hero makes it to the stairs at last. Game Deck by Anshar Studios Also an RPG game, you play as a game deck, meaning a game detective, in a cyberpunk world and solve crimes in virtual worlds. Similar to Disco Elysium, it features non-combative mechanics where you focus on using the different skills you possess to gather clues and solve puzzles however you want to play. Let's take a look at my gameplay. We are going to give ourselves the glazier skills and stop Boy, the advertising. Play now. Nice. Let's poke around at this panda. Press the button. Oh. Oh, Timmy dear. Why Paradise Beach? Oh, dearie me. Well, teens are always curious. That's all the time we have for this video. There are so many games out there that we cannot possibly play them all for this event. However, I have already featured the following listed game titles that are also part of this year's Ludonaracon event from my video coverage of previous gaming events such as the Big Adventure event from January 2022. You can go check those games out at the video link I'll leave at the end or through the link in the description box below. Anyway, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.